eyes went fishing, that is, till their shrimp went to the rye. One's a commotion, and one's a chimpanzee, the other a baboon, the last a blue monkey. Leaving their homeland, stepping away into time, not then. The walked out to venture and Hello, is anybody there? Bald head and big foot curve, which is nose. Oh, 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 my ears oh, never oh, stopped oh, growing. Oh, They're oh, so oh, big oh, and troll like. Oh, cha 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 cha. Oh, cha 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 cha. Oh, my oh, my my big front tooth. I'm a bit long in the tooth these days. Cha 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 cha. Stop now. Hey everyone, that was our old man screaming cold open. You know, I, I think I kind of own that one, I'll be honest. Sequel, sequel to the baby crying cold open. I hope you liked it. Uh, stay tuned um, for the man talking cold open that was, next week. That was a solid two minutes. <laughs> Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. <laughs> this is Jungles and Dragons, a D&D actual play podcast about four monkeys who travel to the Forgotten Realms, go on an adventure, save their monkey friends. I'm Harrison, your DM, uh, your personal friend, your father, uh, Ethan. What's up, guys? It's me, Slim Diddy, EJ Biddy, uh, <laughs> playing Paul Beatty, the Paul Venus chimp monkey paladin knight, and, um, well... <laughs> Today, today's funny monkey funny fact is uh, we're getting a little quirky. We're talking about some, you know, some of the, some real tea, bop, 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 you know what I'm saying? We're talking about kin characters. <laughs> what characters do our little monkeys kin, you know? So I got a, I just got a little short list of characters that uh, Paul Venus kins here. Uh, let me just run down the list of all these cool and goofy characters. All right, so we got Garfield, John Arbuncle, Odie, Dr. Liz Wilson, Arlene, Pookie, Nermal, Squeak, Lionel, the Arbuncle family, which includes Mom, Dad, Doc Boy, Grandma, Aunt Gussie, Garfield's mother, Garfield's grandpa, minor recurring characters, Irma, Herman Post, Beezy the Clown, Big Vicious Dog, Hubert, Reba, Mrs. Feeney, Big Ellen, Guido and Fluffy, Big Pizza, Frank, Frank and Brunsey, Spider, Stretch, Cactus Jake, The Buddy Bears, Mrs. Burnside, Penelope Pussycat, Eddie Gorman, Hercules, Catzilla, Rock Oil, Hercules. Harvey, Harry, Vito Capoletti, Alan Pete, Anthony Allworth, Professor Thaddeus Bonkers, Drusilla and Minerva, Aunt Ivy, Jonah, Evil Space Lasagnas, Nerf, Nefer Kitty, Miss Cauldron, Winona, Abigail, Varsilia, Garfield the Movie, Garfield the Tale of Two Kitties, Garfield Gets Real, and the sequel characters, Garfield's Pet Force, and Inanimate Characters. That's all the characters of Paul Beatus Kins. Wow. I'm so fucking Some pissed that you did the same uh, joke. It's I'm really so pissed off. Yeah, well, you're going to have to come up with something new, August. Uh, you should have been older than August, so. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> should have been older. So quite, quite a kin list. Out of curiosity, what does Paul Venus relate to in all of these characters? Uh, he just likes Garfield, you know? He's a real Garfield guy. <laughs> uh, uh, who's next? <laughs> hmm. Who's next? Hmm. Uh, next. Uh, hi, I'm I'm August. I'm I'm playing uh, Spoons Rango. Actually, I'm playing Nick today. Sorry, guys, I'm playing Nick today. Uh, Nick I'm playing Rango. Spoons Rango, and he's a he's a blue monkey. <clears throat> he's a little he's a wizard, uh, and he's a funny little guy. Uh, now his kins are um are a little different than Paul's. Now he kins uh, I put, it, put together a little list as well. Uh, <laughs> 
Fred Armisen, Aristotle Athari, Dan Aykroyd, Peter Aykroyd, Morwenna Banks, Vanessa Bayer, Jim Belushi, John Belushi, Beck Bennett, no. Jim Brewer, yeah, no, Paul Britton, A. Again. Whitney we're Brown, not. 80 Brock. We're not, no, we're not doing the bit again. All right. Are you just going to list just, every just, single SNL uh, cast member? Just imagine I named SNL cast members for the next like four and a half minutes straight. <laughs> okay. Let me, let me just go. Let's see who's at the bottom. Let's do the bottom one. Um, and finally, a spoons rank Hawkins, <laughs> Alan Zweebel. <laughs> Oh okay. yes, of course. Alan what, is, what is uh, what does spoons relate to in Alan's Weevil? <laughs> well, he loves that he was on the show for only half of season five in nineteen eighty. He really likes that part. <laughs> and he uh, relates he, to that. What is relatable he, about that? Because because uh, relates- spoons is going to get kicked off J and B halfway through the season. <laughs> don't you know? <laughs> He it's relates, you know, the New York <laughs> the New York Times has also said about Spoon's Rango that he has earned his place in the pantheon of, of American pop culture. <laughs> 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 We need, we need to have a separate funky bucky fact about that someday. <laughs> what about, about Alan Zweebel? No, about why Spoon says that written up about him. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, go on, go, okay. Gabriel. Hey guys, Gabe here, official voice actor for Eugene T. Monkey, level 5 Mountain Dwarf Fighter. That's also level 1 Hexblade and Old Capuchin Monkey. Um, Eugene Ken's Clint Eastwood's character in The Mule, Sean Connery, <laughs> James Bond, um, Mel Gibson, Braveheart. That's <laughs> you don't oh, got any more? Boy. Come on, there, there's more, there's more. Come on, keep going. This feels like um, my, uh, my film exhibition and distribution professor. You would love that Chevy Chase, much. Community. There you oh, go. Oh yeah. God! Oh come on! There's this more? Come on! <laughs> I, I, I didn't make a stupid dumb list like you guys. I, I didn't, didn't either. I went to Wikipedia. Head. You asshole! You a great <laughs> list. Is it? Is it just like uh, what is? What exactly does Eugene relate to in these characters? They're old. Oh, they, Daniel Day Lewis. There will be blood. Yeah, they're old. I see. <laughs> What was the first character, I wonder? The first character. <laughs> can, can we, like, oh, no, if you look up like, first like, character, like, it's, Gil, it's going to come up Gil with, like, Gilgamesh, the first... maybe? Like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah From the a, a guy on the... A guy painted on the cave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> probably Kingo from Eternals. Uh, probably. <laughs> Druid. <laughs> okay. Ani kins... Uh, he kins three characters. He kins Guts from Berserk. Kiryu from the Yakuza games and Mr. Bean. <laughs> Mr. Bean. <laughs> okay, now All now right. Nick, ju- Nick, just real quick, who does Mr. Hollywood kin? Just really quick. Uh, Mr. Hollywood kins. Uh, no one. He's his own man. Yeah, he kins himself. <laughs> uh, well, he 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 recognizes his status as sort of an American icon and and kins himself <laughs> as a character. He's carved uh, out carved out his place in the pantheon of American pop culture. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> we have a lot of uh, icons in this movie. I feel like I have, like I feel very thankful. Nick, what does he here. find relatable about those characters? I mean, I I can uh, guess with guts and cure you, but uh... <laughs> their rise and grind attitude. Uh, yeah, their rise and grind uh, attitude. You, yeah, he he, uh, he respects Mr. Bean. <laughs> you okay? You okay there, buddy? <laughs> Because <laughs> Mr. Bean, he's always falling down. He's always dropping chickens on his head. He's always getting, he's always like, there's always cans of jam exploding all over him. And he just keeps getting back up. He just wipes his face off and he keeps going. And also, Ani wants a really tiny car one day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that too. Uh, great hey guys, fungi fact. I take it back. I'm this is Harris. a great fungi fungi fact. Uh, I'm Harrison. Uh, I'm the DM once again. Uh,. Oh brother! I I, <laughs> I I only have one kin to talk about, and that is uh, George Costanza from Seinfeld. I feel like there's a little bit of George Costanza in everyone. Like everyone is just one bad day away from being George Costanza, you know, or one like, good day. Well, I I loathe whoever that person would be. <laughs> um, <laughs> sick and twisted. Just one good day turns me into George Costanza. Jungles and dragons and jungles and dragons. Jungles and dragons and jungles and dragons. Jungles and dragons and jungles and dragons and jungles. So the four of you are standing outside the well in the town square of Howell. Uh, Day is drawing to a close. It's evening. The light is dimming. And here you are, the the final the final showdown is about to begin. 
Is there anything you would like to do before you enter the well uh, into the heart of Howl? Spoons, you have all your gear back. Uh, Beauregard and Dickerson are both there if you need them for anything. Uh, Beauregard says, if, if you need my help or anything, just let me know. Uh, yeah, Beauregard, can you can you cast any spell and make us unkillable? Uh, actually, let me see what I have. <laughs> oh, thank Pulls you. out spell list. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you guys might want to keep talking while I look this up. <laughs> no, no, no. We'll wait. We'll wait. It's fine. <laughs> you know, actually, I think I want to talk to my, my French octopus right now. <laughs> while you look that up. Bonjour, bonjour. <laughs> This will yeah. cost you a spell slot. <laughs> will it cost me a spell slot? I am your familiar, yes. Oh, I, th- I thought you were already hanging out. Okay. Then then, then forget it. <laughs> Go away. Goodbye. Is it like a venom thing oh, where you can, like, like, sort of talk to him in his head? <laughs> yeah, what, he's what always it? there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Um, What has he got? Shield of Faith? Does that do anything? Yeah, okay. Well, I thought his spells uh, are insane. That's why I was joking. He can how, just, long, like, how long does it last? This only lasts for 10 minutes. That's not going to help. Oh, uh, his doesn't last for 10 days? His special no. one? No. <laughs> it lasts I, for his, eight crazy his spells, nights. His spells don't do extra stuff. I just interpret the, 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 the rules a little more loosely with him. Uh, let's see. Protection from poison. Does anyone want to be protected ba, 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 from poison? Ba, ba, ba. Pa 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 poison. Yeah. No. Uh, hey, Burger, okay. Do you have a spell that uh that uh that, uh makes you uh <laughs> makes you uh <laughs> less stupid? Yeah, <laughs> makes you shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I was, gonna, I was like- gonna give my I was gonna give my son Paul false life and give him uh. 1d4 plus 14 HP, 10 HP points, but I guess I won't now. <laughs> uh, see you guys, good luck. Here, I got a new spell that makes me laugh like this. <laughs> How do you, you think of that? spell, Paul. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> what do you think? Why do you need a spell for that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can just do that. No, it's a new secret spell. Eugene uh, cracks his shoulders, cracks his neck, cracks his back, cracks his hips, cracks his knees. Be- cracks Beauregard, his uh, Beauregard takes out this little like uh, this little like mace thing he has with like a like a little jingle bell on it, some sort of strange uh, ritualistic instrument, and he starts shaking it around and doing a little dance and moving all around. And the four of you all gain one d four plus fourteen temporary hit points. Oh, hell yeah. oh wow! Oh. That's that's actually really good. Wait, one d four plus what? Fourteen. 14. Oh my god, I got eighteen. Fuck yeah. Sixteen, B. Uh, Fifteen. How do you feel about that, boys? Beauregard's pulling his own weight, huh? <laughs> I, take, I take I take back what I said. Man, before. yeah, good shit, man. Good shit. I'd do Hell anything yeah. for my son and my good friend Spoons and my other two good friends, Ani and Eugene. Uh huh. Sure, sure, sure. Dad, buddy. you're yeah. funny, but like not in a good way. <laughs> All right, well, I thought you guys would be a little more grateful. I'm going to turn around and walk back to the end now. Goodbye. All right, bye, okay, bye. All right, later. Ta- Town Master. Yes. Hi. Are you guys ready? Is there anything you need? Uh, um, do you have like a, you have like a trail mix, maybe? Like like some kind of, some kind of trail mix? No. Okay. Uh, you guys need anything? No, let's hit it. Yeah, oh. okay, bye. Don't forget, uh, he he hands you all some earplugs. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah I, was, I was gonna say, do we have something to descend the well with? Do we have like a like a grappling hook? You or have something? your hemp and rope. Oh, we all have fifty feet of hemp and rope spoons. I reach into my bag and I, I have a bottle shoot. of Hennessy. <laughs> but yeah, I have my double cup. Yeah. The function. <laughs> the um, function. All right. I guess uh, put in the earplugs. Yep. Boom. All right. Good luck, guy. And then his voice right. disappears before you can guy. the word, guys. Free guy. Uh, Who is the blue you shirt all, guy? Um, put in your earplugs. Boom. Mm. All right. Can't hear I shit. I guess but... one of you ties your rope to the edge of the well, and you um maybe it's a little bar thing. All right. Yeah. Who wants uh, to go down first? Who's going down first? I got you. I got you. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, Eugene, uh, you go down, it's about, 
How deep is a well typically? Does 50 feet sound accurate? Probably deeper 50? than that, right? I, don't know. I, think, I mean, you only have 50 feet of road, so probably really? about 50 feet. How deep is a well? How deep, deep is, is a well? well? Is your well? Do, 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 do. <laughs> okay. Deep. Is well, most well? house most household wells are 100 feet. Apparently, this one is a small well. Um, ah, you, you descend down 50 feet, well. and the well is completely dry at the bottom. It's sort of hollowed out this sort of hollow pit, and there is a tunnel um, at the end of this pit, and you can see a few of these like white fungusy tendrils um, growing along the lines of this tunnel, like a plant of some sort. Um, can I, uh, ignite the green flame blade and then, um, try to, like, run the blade along the, the growth? They, they don't really react at all. Well, I'm just gonna use it for light, too. Do I see anything funky? Okay. Just this tunnel keeps going, uh, actually, like, descending. It's sort of at a diagonal deeper into the earth. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I yell up from the top of the well. Seems fine, guys. Come on. Okay. All right. Yeah, okay, buddy. Let's do it. And away we go. You all descend down into the well, and then further into this tunnel, uh, <laughs> Eugene providing a little little tune as you go. <laughs> and you keep walking for uh, at least an hour further into this huge, deep tunnel. As, as you walk, these white tendrils, like a fungus, they become thicker and thicker until this this the walls of this tunnel are only almost completely white with this, like, kudzu like substance as you get closer to the end of this tunnel you can see growing in this this like fungusy moss are like faces these pale white gaunt faces like the faces of the creature but they're malformed unfinished but it looks like they're about to sprout and you keep walking deeper into the tunnel until you reach this huge hollowed out sort of sphere in the earth the nest Sitting in the center of this this pit is this giant, pulsating, tumorous mass. Uh, like piles of piles of, of white, flabby flesh. Sprouting out of it are, are dozens of long, white, spindly arms with these long claws at the end. And four long, bony necks, each ending in a pale face with these fleshy jowls loosely hanging off of its gaunt form, this rotting mouth of black teeth and black wet eyes. This creature spots you, and all four of its heads narrow in on you. The mouths open as if it is roaring, but you can't hear it. You can't hear anything. Wow, that looks really scary. <laughs> that roar seemed like it was really scary. I look to Spoons and I just give him two thumbs up, and then I turn to Paul, give him two thumbs up. Okay. Um, Spoons just sort of casually uh, looks at the thing, sort of stills his heart, reaches into his chest, uh, pulls out a scroll, and uh, begins to read uh, one of the eight remaining forbidden jokes. You pull out the scroll to read a forbidden joke. And don't worry, we'll get to that, August. But <laughs> as you're pulling out the scroll, something shoves into your shoulder, and running past you is Madeline Glass, or Madeline, whatever her name is. And you can't hear her, but she's pleading with this creature. Can I attempt to kind of pull her back from the thing? You, yeah, you, you grab her by her ankle with your little capuchin hands and try to pull her out with your, with your um, supra-capuchin strength. And she staggers back a little bit, but she keeps pleading with this, this, um, this creature. And she mouths a question, and you can't hear it, but... This question seems to strike into the heart of this creature, and for a moment it pauses. And it looks like it comprehends her, like it's comprehending anyone for the first time in a very long time. Alright, then I'm gonna let go and walk back. You know what she asked, even though you didn't hear it. She asked what happened. It lowers its four heads, and it opens its mouth, and from inside comes this crystal blue flash of light. And all of you remember. The 5th of November. I remember Guy Fox. The 21st of September. I pound Spoons' his head a bunch of times. Oh, what, what, I start pounding around. on his head over and over and over. 
<laughs> I poke Eugene in the eyes. Boink. I, I grab I Paul's balls. I, I walk over and I get hit by a rake. <laughs> I pull on Paul's balls one at a time. I, I, throw, a big, I throw a big pie in, uh, in Spoons' face. Wow, 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 wow. One of the creature's head goes, nyak, 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 and the other one goes, woo, 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 woo. I go, okay, what, actually, what, actually happens? what happens? The the world around you becomes blue, and then the, the blue fades away, and you are no longer Spoons, Rango, Eugene, Ani, Paul Venus. You have a human body, a human name. You are all Ryan Milch. <laughs> oh, Nick. Oh, I Nick. am Ryan Milch. <laughs> I look into the camera and say, I am Ryan Milch. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's me, Ryan Milch, <laughs> Disney Channel star. It's night outside. It's a cold, wintry, howl night. You feel something hot and wet, blood, running down your chin and pulling from your stomach. You're running, or rather trying to run. Your feet seem unusually heavy through the thick <laughs> snow. In the distance, cutting through the wind, you can hear the cries of Dr. Sam Glass, the man who killed you, or almost killed you. You still have a few minutes left. You just wanted to help, to help Madeline find out who she really was, to get to the truth of things. Well, this is where the truth got you. You look to the thick, black, leather-bound book you have clutched under your arm. At least now that you've stolen the Book of Mind, Dr. Glass has no way of continuing the charade. But wait. Something's wrong. You look closer at the book. Several pages have been torn out. He still has those pages. Damn it! You couldn't even get that one thing done right. But it's too late now. You should be worried for Madeline or angry at the doctor, but dying has a way of giving you a one-track mind. As you trudge through the snow, moving forward endlessly, every other thought oozes out of your brain, no room left in the dying cells starved of air, save for one thought. You don't want to die. That's the last thing you think as your knees hit something hard, and you tumble headfirst into the well. Your body cracks as you hit the bottom, blood staining the knee-high frigid water. This is it. Your last moment. Except there's something there. Something in the wall of the pit. A red door. The door <sighs> opens, and inside <sighs> you see a tavern, warm and basked in a golden light. A head pops out from the doorway, a pale elvish man with long silvery hair. He says to himself, Is this really the next guy? Really? He's about to die, whatever. Oh. He looks down at you. <laughs> yeah, you make that noise. <laughs> I'm, I'm Ryan! I'm dying! I'm, I'm dying, dying, dying Ryan! <laughs> they used to like call me Dying I Ryan Milch! The trail of blood goes behind me. I just start crawling and writhing. This all looks <laughs> down at you and says, Hey, uh, it seems like you're in the middle of something, so I'll make this quick. I'm in the uh, middle of dying! I have, a, I have a deck of cards that can make your dream come true. You want one? Will it make me stop dying? <laughs> <laughs> and there's so much you could ask for. Wasn't there someone you were trying to help? But that's all gone now. Your suffocating brain squeezes out your final thought. Four words. I want to live. The door is gone now, just you, here in the darkness of the pit. And something else, a thick, black, leather-bound book, with a glowing indigo heart on the cover. The Book of Mind. You watch as it sticks to your chest, fusing there, and then sinking inward, becoming one with your flesh. Your body becomes pale, it breaks and bends and spreads. Your flesh is no more than a tool now, a growing rot with one purpose to find prey, to feed. You are an animal. The only thing that matters is survival, to live. Using the book's magic, you sing your silent songs so the people of Howl don't notice as you pick them off one by one and drain the town of its collective memory. Over time, you grow larger and stronger, gaining new limbs and heads to serve your hunger like a false hydra. Until we come to now, the verge of your final transformation Soon you will not need to sing anymore, because soon nothing in this world will be able to hurt you ever again. The memory ends, and the four of you are standing there, and Madeline is kneeling on the ground with a shocked look on her face. She's muttering something to herself that you can't hear, and you take a closer look at the pulsating mass that forms the body of this creature, and you can see that lining this mass are hundreds 
of these half-formed faces ready to sprout. Roll initiative. Whoa. First up is Ani. Oh. <sighs> okay. Um, I'm gonna point my, my my staff at the guy, and I'm gonna cast Erupting yeah. Earth. Uh, Whoa! -ho. As a, a fountain of churned earth and stone erupts in a 20-foot cube centered on that point. Uh, each creature in the area must make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, with a DC of 14, okay. I think. Oh. Sounds good. Dexterity saving throw. Wait, does, does that count us, too? Uh, it passes, Nick. I'm uh, sorry. No, I think it was centered on the creature. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what were you gonna do, just out of curiosity? Oh, well, so if, the creature can dodge. If it, it loses, uh, it takes three d twelve bludgeoning damage. Uh, but so yeah, you um, you point your staff, and this this wall of earth launches at the creature, but uh, it, it it this this fleshy, massive body moves with surprising agility and dodges out of the way. As it moves, you can see that these tendrils that uh, run along the walls are actually, like, coming from its body. This creature has spread, like, all throughout the underside of Howl. Uh, but yes, uh, it dodges out of the way of, of this earth. Oh, wait, right, wait ha hang on a second, I read that wrong. It takes, on a failed save, it takes half as much damage. Or, on a successful save. Oh, okay, oh. yeah. Oh, hell, so hell. Go, go ahead and roll the damage. All right. all right. Hang on a second, man. Wait, now just hang now on just a second. just hang on one Hold second. Hold on just a minute. Just hang on one minute, man. Let okay, me that's seven damage. Man. Okay. Yeah, I think it does dodge out of the way, but then this wall of earth hits the back of the cave, and then like a big stalactite uh big stalactite yeah. drops down and bonks it on the head. And yeah, and it 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 opens its mouth and roars, but you um you don't hear it again. It's a little right. bonk, man. Come on, man. Just a little bonk. Kunk. Alright, spoons, you're up. The spoons goes like ah, oh that uh Why'd you have to bump into me to no one because no one can hear? Um, and then he, he takes out the scroll again, sort of puts it in front of him like that, like the guy in Dune giving the message from the Emperor. And he goes, <clears throat> So a family of performers walk into a talent agent's <laughs> office. <laughs> and the, ma the patriarch of the family goes up to the talent agent and says, We would like to find some work in this town. And the talent agent says, uh, What do you do? And the father says, oh, well, we're a family of performers. And, and the talent agent says, could you give me a demonstration? The father says, yes. Oh, and I, know yeah. I know this joke. around to the mother, well. and he pulls down her pants, and he starts fucking her on the table. And the daughter <laughs> goes up to the dog and starts fucking him. And the son pulls down his pants and starts jacking off. Now, this isn't a good the, joke. I don't the, like the this. The father's one. just this laying into the mother. In, this is very in funny. In and out. <laughs> yeah, in and out. In and out. In and out. And, and she's getting really exasperated at this point. Ah! And Why she's howling and screaming. <laughs> it's, and, and, and the father finally gets to where he's going. And so does the daughter. And the, the son, he splooges all over the ceiling. And the father turns to the talent agent and he goes, What do you think? And the talent agent's got a, got a shocked look on his face, and he goes, What's it called? And the father looks right at the camera, and he goes, The Aristocrats! Uh, Spoons puts away the scroll and puts it, puts it back into his chest. <laughs> but I guess it makes sense. I guess that joke would be forbidden. Um, yeah. Uh, roll, like roll, uh, uh, no, the creature rolls a wisdom saving throw. What's your My spell wisdom's not, like, that high. It's 14. What's your spell? So. It's 14? Okay. 14. Rolls a 17, plus whatever oh. it gets. So the, <laughs> yeah. uh, the the creature <laughs> hears that, and it just doesn't seem to comprehend it at all. It th I think it stopped listening after the third word. <laughs> um, uh, next yeah, so is its turn. Wait, no, wait, that, then Spoons is gonna, um, just as like, a, I don't know, to, so there's something. Uh, Spoons is going to, um, that's an action, right? Reading that? Yes. That's a, uh, Spoons is going to... Uh, what the to, hey? Um, you can take an action. That can be a bonus no. action. All right, Spoons is, <laughs> Spoons is going to... Uh, 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 cast... Uh, cast False Life on himself. That's what he's going to do. You're going to get more life? Yeah, he's going to get a million health. <laughs> okay, yeah. A Spoons million health. Cast False Life on himself. Next is the cast... creature's turn. Yeah. Um... Go ahead and take care of that off camera. August. I'm doing it. I'm doing it right, yeah, right, right yeah, chow. Okay. 
Um, two of these heads target you, Ani. One of them targets you, Spoons, and one of them targets Eugene. The two heads looking at you, Ani, are really freaking pissed because you hit them with that big old stalactite. So that's going to be 4d4. That's 4 d four. Not 4d20. 4d20. 4d4. Um, can I use a reaction number, to cast 44. shield? You can, yes. Yeah, so um, as the head begins to come towards him, Eugene's arm just like rips forward on its own, and then just like tendrils of rusted dark metal just begin to twist into a giant wall that kind Whoa, of looks oh. like a heavy metal logo. And he just kind of screams and looks in horror as it happens as blood begins to gush everywhere. You good? <laughs> yeah. So yeah. does that boost your AC or something? Does it make it harder? Um, yes, it gives me it gives me plus five to my AC. Okay, so, so to twenty, so twenty three, twenty three. Holy shit! Okay, yeah, <laughs> one of the he- the head that coming at you. I think you effortlessly dodge out of the way. Um, Spoons, what's your AC? Uh, my my AC, my AC is just a just a, a, a eleven, just a little flimsy eleven. Uh, it just manages to hit you, uh, and Ani, one of these heads misses, but the other one bites you. I think. Oh. Uh, I think you you manage to jump out of the way, but the other one does like this uh, this Luffy Snake Man diagonal towards you. <laughs> um, yeah. So um, how much? Both damage? of you uh, both of you take nine damage from that. As and for one rips into one you fleeting for moment, bit. for one fleeting moment, Spoons had sixty HP. It was beautiful. Yeah, Eugene, you're up. All right. So bonus action, I'm going to cast Hexblade's Curse. So I stick out my axe and a bunch of spectral chain chew out of it into the beast. Um, Hell yeah! See. And using green flame blade, and I rolled an 18 to hit, so 24. So hell yeah! Um, 18 damage. 18 damage. Okay. Uh, yeah. The head that just lunged towards you, you whip out your axe and you cleave into it or whatever it was you were, were you using your axe there. Yeah, so I kick out my axe. Yeah. It's like wreathed in green fire, and I slam it into the side of the creature's head as the sh- as like the metal okay. shield just begins to back into my arm. Do you have more attacks? Um, yes, I have a second attack. I'm going to do the axe again. I'm going to do greater weapons master, and I fail, so I don't hit it. I got a ten. Ah, uh, shame. Yeah, you you cleave into this head, and you take a big freaking chunk out of it. And uh, little pieces of pale flesh fly everywhere. And it bonks me in my head and I miss the second one. Boom. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Paul, you're up. Okay. Um, well, I start I start channeling my divinity. Oh, yeah. Uh, and I pick up my long sword and it starts glowing. And I go, I swore I'd never kill again, but I don't even think this thing is like a thing at all. I don't know, it's a beast, it's a foul creature. Yeah, and I slash at it. <laughs> so, um, let me see, let me catch myself up. So, add two to attack rolls. Uh, okay. This creature is, um, is weak to radiant damage, so you're going to double whatever you roll. Okay, Oh cool. my god. But yeah, that is true. Oh my god. like 50 damage last <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's a, is, that's a 17. Undead. 17. 17. That hits. Okay. And the damage is going to be... So it doubles whatever this is going to be? Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. All right. 1d8 plus 3. Uh, that's uh, 6, so 9. And then 9 times 2 is 18, right? Fuck yeah. Uh, do you want to describe how you plunge your dang old golden sword into this creature? Yeah, I do like a, a diagonal slash right across his face. Yuck. Yeah, you oh, so you cool. slash like, into the, the face of these creatures, and like like in an anime where like a second later the top half of it like slides off and schlops onto the ground. The face is still alive, but it's only the bottom half of it. Haha, uh, ha. got you. Like in an anime? Like in yeah, the, tips in fedora. Anime, if you will. <laughs> LMAO, that's so funny. LMAO. That's my favorite. Yeah, <laughs> that is so funny. L O L. L O L. Well, well, well. R O M C O. Let's go on it. Ah, me? Okay. Ani, I should have mentioned, sorry. Uh, this head that bit you earlier. It is still hanging on to you, so um, <laughs> you can you can attack. However, you are grappled. You can't move. Okay. Can I can I get them off? Same with me? you, spoons. 
Yeah. <laughs> like, grab hold of him and throw him? <laughs> no, just keep attacking. Just keep attacking. You're fine. All right, all right. Oh, wait, let me, uh, I was gonna wild shape, I think, so... What would happen if I turned into a war horse while he was still on me? <laughs> I th- I think his his jaw would just expand a little bit. All right, well I'll still do that. We uh, are being okay. boarded by armed war horses. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna turn into a huge hairless war horse. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, wait, <laughs> hairless. It's just horse. white flesh on pink flesh. It's so bad. I think that's my action. So <sighs> yeah. Uh. I think, haven't we been treating your shapeshift as a bonus action in the past? I think uh, we have. Right? Maybe. That might not be official D&D rules, but I'm pretty sure that's what we did when we fought the dragon and you turned it to a gorilla. So you can All go right. ahead and, and do something as a little horse if you want. Yeah, let me, let me try the trampling charge. This, this guy. That requires uh, movement. Uh, let me, then let me use the hooves attack. <laughs> yeah. Use the hooves! <laughs> yeah. My hooves! My hooves! Oh my, my big funny fucking hooves! Natural 20. Game Natural 20? Hell Natural yeah! 20. So, double <laughs> roll. roll damage and double it. An okay. unnatural 20. Uh, 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 a terrible 20. 20 flying bats. <laughs> 20 rats. Tw- 26. Jeez. Whoa! Run up and, tr- and trample it with my hooves. Yeah, you trample into the hoof with your hooves. Uh, I I think may- maybe this creature is like bat- biting onto your back hooves, so you take your front hooves and and trample onto it, and it just pops like a water balloon, and blood flies everywhere. How much was that? Twenty eight, you said. Twenty six. Twenty six. Twenty six. Yeah, this this head is just destroyed, obliterated. Nay. Next up is. <laughs> Uh, you don't say warhorse anymore. <laughs> say nay. <laughs> I can say warhorse, or I could just make horse noises. Um, I have a question. This head that's hanging on to me. Would you say that it is fifteen pounds or less or more? Over. Over. Considerably okay. over. It's Considerably over. Head. Just, just the head. Jesus, that's scary. That's it's terrifying. a big head. Probably like that's, like that's thirty pounds. Fu- I would say. It's a Fucking big scary. mouth. No season. Mouth. Season five. Big no mouth. Netflix. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a big boy. I'm gonna get put on, put on my big boy diapy and step out of my crib and I'm gonna cast fireball. The big boy. Oh shit! Um, I'm pretty sure all of you are within twenty feet of this creature. Are, are we? No, but no. Oh, oh boy! Anyway if you want, should I do it? What do you guys think? Do it. Do. I think you should do it. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do okay. it. I think you should do it. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> So I've got this thing hanging onto my arm, and I'm going, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, fuck, man. So I, um, in an effort to, uh, to get it off, I, I grab with my other hand, I try and pry its jaws off, but I realize I can't do it, and so I get my other hand stuck in the mouth on my arm, and I shove it all the way through, out the back end. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> and I, I go, oh, shit, now I'm all tangled like a pretzel. I go, oh, God, fuck. Uh, Fuck, man. Fuck. Uh, how am I going to? Oh, oh, I, I know. I know. I know how I'm going to do this. Oh, I start focusing real hard and I start, I start glowing a bit. My, my, my big bulbous vein pops out and I go, oh, get the fuck off of me. Get the fuck off of me. And then I shoot through the, through the, through the hole. Yeah. What, what did everyone get on their deck say out of curiosity? I haven't done damage yet. So tell me. Eugene got a 19. I yes, got that takes half. 14. You beat a 14, you take half. I got five on it. Oh, got, no. I got oh. 12. A uh, creature got a nine, so. It is 27 damage. Creature got Jesus. Nine. So Holy those who shit. got half take thir- 13 for those who got the save. The head which you have your hand stuck in, it just erupts in flame and explodes and it is gone completely. Um, There are two more heads on this creature. Ooh. Oh wait, can I, I guess, oh, I guess if it hits that, it can't hit the main body, but yeah, okay. It hit the main body as well. Oh, okay. Just so you guys know, uh, the creature's heads, uh, whether they die is, is not determined by, like, how much damage you deal to a specific head, so just keep dealing damage. It has more to do with, oh. like, amount of damage, um, in one turn. Okay, next up is the creature. Creature. Two more of these heads, uh. Are uh, they're writhing in agony? They they seem to be screaming in the air. Um, 
Uh, they both lock on to you, Spoons, and they lunge at you. Ugh. Oh, fuck, I don't have shield. Why did I stop doing this? Why did we ever stop doing this? That is a 12 and an 18. I think that both hits. These heads launch towards you and, and each lock on to a separate arm, and they, they're sort of holding you there like that. Ugh. Wait, how much damage did okay. they do? Oh, yeah, I forgot about damage. Uh, 19 damage total. Sexy. All right, Eugene, you're up. Okay, I'm gonna action surge and do four Eldritch Blasts. Holy fuck, okay. <laughs> Let's see. You go, okay, girl. Okay, um, 24? 24 no, damage. No, no, no. 24 damage, and then I'm going to use my second turn to do two big Great Axe Swings. Okay, do all that. Yep. Roll. Um, 18 and a natural 20. Yep, okay, go on. 7 and then 26 damage. Woo! Okay, <laughs> so, yeah, so like, Yeah, Eugene just, it's just a blur. It's just red lightning and then just a giant red flash, and then Eugene is just standing there. You strike the central mass with two hand axes, and then you shoot it with an Eldritch Blast. This Eldritch Blast lights up with this red energy, and the energy pulses back outwards through one of its necks, and Spoon's one of the heads holding you explodes into bits. Okay, Paul, you're up. <laughs> Spoon's Alrighty. throws up his mouth a little bit. I'm getting fucking sick and tired of this fucking shit. I'm gonna divine smite this motherfucker. Alright, uh... So let me see what I get here. Yeah, fuck, I got a five. <laughs> no, that sadly that does not hit. <laughs> oh, Paul craps his... his Skinny jeans that he's wearing instead and trips and falls on Just his face. Start <laughs> dripping through the, does it start dripping through the bottom of the pants? Oh, so it's God, like it's <laughs> dripping. Nobody look! Nobody look! The, 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 the pants, pants are, like, are made of it metal. Drips through your, it drips through your skinny jeans and you, you step forward to swing your sword and you slip on it and slide all over the ground. Whip, um, whip, 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 missing wow. the creature. All right, we're, we are now back at the start of the round. And the central mass of the monster begins to pulsate even more like an organ, like it's pumping something into it. And sprouting from its body, three more of these sort of half-formed faces sprout outwards, growing these long, bony necks, and it regrows three of its heads. Uh, uh, this is a gross creature, uh, Harrison. This is a right, gross Anna, you're creature. Up. Okay, uh, how much distance is between me and the farthest creature from me uh so you're in like a circular cave so no matter where you go you're gonna be about 20 feet away from it max 20 feet nice uh so i if i if the horse moves at least 20 feet straight <laughs> forward toward the creature and then hits it with a hooves attack on the same turn that target must succeed on a dc 14 <laughs> strength saving throw or be knocked prone <laughs> So sure, okay. That. Always be one of these horses. Yeah. Can you just be a horse, man. You you should go ahead and do that. Yeah. So so okay. do I just need to roll uh the the saving throw? Is that all I all that happens? Uh, yeah. I think I think because it's a hoofs okay. attack, I gotta do damage. I gotta roll damage first, and then see if they get knocked okay. prone from it. So it 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 definitely misses. But yeah, go ahead and do the attack. Okay. Uh, that's a six. So. Oh, oh no! Oh, <laughs> you Just you charge forward, it. but <laughs> you <laughs> you you slip on Paul's little shit that's lining the ground. <laughs> oh. Hit my head in the wall. <laughs> Hit your head on the wall. Yeah. Okay. Spoons, you're up. I go. Uh, yeah, I go. Yeah. Wow, that's that's pretty gross, man. That's pretty gross. <laughs> um, so I go. Uh, I go. I'm feeling kind of mischievous and then i i i uh yeah i i focus real hard and i sneeze in the creature's direction and i cast nathair's mischief with my sneeze what does that do <laughs> which, now which is uh let me quickly roll a d4 and i'll tell you what it does that's a, a three and and for a three i get uh so i'm casting this around the uh, 20 foot cube around the creature each creature in the cube 
Must succeed in a wisdom saving throw or begin giggling until the start of your next turn. It's the same one I got for the trolls. <laughs> a, g- a giggling creature is incapacitated and use also, uses all its movement to move in random directions. <laughs> okay. So see, uh, see if they have and the, is it see, specifically a creature you target or is it every creature within range? Every creature in the in the cube, and I'm doing a 20-foot cube surrounding, uh, sur- uh, focus on the creature. So does that hit any of us? Who's, who's close to the creature? I think that hits all of you, right? Because you're all within 20 feet of the creature. Mm-hmm. Well, no, you're, it's in a circle. It's a... No, cube. Cube. So I Yeah, guess it... so I don't, I don't think the cube would hit all of you. Uh, I'm going to roll a, a d2, and two of you are going to get caught in it. Okay. Does that sound <laughs> fair? Coin? Yeah, we, we, we got to do yeah. a save. Let's see. I'm, I mean, I'm, a d4 is what I meant. I'm going to roll a d4 and pick two. <laughs> okay, Ani and Paul. <laughs> uh, okay. What? So you have to roll a, wis- a wisdom saving throw. Fourteen. Fourteen giggle. wisdom save. Fourteen wisdom save. Or you giggle. <laughs> okay. Oh fuck four. <laughs> no. Why am I getting the bad rolls today? Ethan, you gotta roll better, bro. This is Seventeen, a day, man. This really isn't. There we go. Seventeen. Audi. Okay. Audi what passes. does the creature get? <laughs> Eighteen. Fuck off. Okay. So Paul. <laughs> Paul just starts giggling. I'm just running in random directions. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's the. So I take eighteen turn. damage. No, you no, just what? Get now. Oh. What? You're also you're also incapacitated, unfortunately. Yeah, you you, lo- you lose your. Um, next turn. Uh, not like I was making any difference, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, now it's the creature's turn, and spoons. This creature has had you grappled for one return round now. Which means it can use my favorite ability on this creature's um, uh, stat block. Uh, this mouth, which has had you grappled, it lets go and it opens up wide and it swallows you whole. What? And <laughs> the rest of you can see the shape of Spoon's Rango, like the outline, moving down the neck of this creature like, <laughs> like a mouse down a boa constrictor. Or something down a boa constrictor, I don't know. Okay. Oh shit, oh man, uh, we, we gotta get a, a look to Paul who's giggling in his own shit. <laughs> <laughs> it would be your turn, Paul, but <laughs> if you want to just describe how you run around a little bit. Uh, I'm doing, like, I'm doing the Daffy Duck um, laugh while I'm, I'm, like, cocking my neck back and forth and flipping my feet up in the air, going, <laughs> That's all I'm doing. Awesome, bro. Sick. Wait, did we skip Eugene? I think we skipped um, Eugene, right? Yeah, because I go before Paul. Yeah, it's your turn, Eugene. Sorry, we skipped you. My bad. Not so good. So I'm just looking from side to side. I see the fucking thing go down his throat, and I'm looking at Paul, who's shitting his own shit. I'm just going <laughs> to go ahead and do some uh, Eldritch. I'm just going to do an Eldritch Blast for my first attack. Okay. 18 and a 21. 21. That so yeah, my yeah, my face rips open and then pew, pew, um 17 damage. And then for my second attack, I'm gonna do Greater Weapons Master Battle Axe. I'm gonna do a superiority mm. dice to make sure I don't miss. So that is 19. So let's go ahead and roll that. That's 16 damage for that one. So all yeah, right. face Gabe, op- that's yeah. that's all you need. Nice. You uh you take your your eldritch blast and you shoot it from your mouth like a like you're you're a little gun and it blasts <laughs> through the neck of this creature freeing spoons. Spoons you fall out into the ground in this sort of pool of black slime. Yeah, what? like that. <laughs> can I can I princess carry him? Yes. He's very big, <laughs> but you can. Well compared to you. I got plus big. three. I got plus three strength. Yeah. It's good. And all the other heads and necks of this creature, all the arms and everything, all sort of wither away into dust. Oh, what? Oh, all okay. of this, like, kudzu-like moss surrounding <laughs> the, the, the cave starts to wither away, and this body starts pulsating faster, and it's, it's, it's jiggling and shaking this pulsating mass, and you oh, can like the feel this... Freak. Yeah, exactly. You can feel this rage emanating from it. This, like, energy is building up in the central mass, mass, and suddenly another blue light blasts outward. But this isn't a, a memory. This is, like, this energy draining, like, sucking out your mind. Everyone take 
uh, 5d8 uh, psychic damage. Actually, no. Uh, sorry. Give me, yeah, wisdom saving throw first. My bad. Okay. Um, <laughs> I got a zero on wisdom. I have okay. plus four. I got a uh, nine. That's, I, I, I got I a ten. Like shit. I got, I got a nine. nine. I, I like got shit. a twenty. Unnatural. But... Okay. Can I, uh, Dirty could, could twenty. I, could I what, counter spell you? this as a reaction? It's not a, it's not a spell, so no. Oh. Uh, oh no. Nine. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh. Everyone take uh twenty two damage. Um, Ooh. That was... Except for you, Ani. Yeah. Ani, you you take twenty two. Take eleven. Yeah. Okay. Except Ani, okay. Ani, take eleven. Harrison, you made yeah. fun of me for doing that extra one. If I hadn't, I would be dead. So fuck Hell you. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> no, that that see, that's why you're the wizard and I'm not because you know what you're doing. <laughs> that's why I'm a real wizard in the real world as well as yeah. in this game. August loves J.K. Rowling. I actually I wrote the Harry. That's even worse. All of you are pushed back by the psychic energy as this creature tries to get into your minds. It can't, but in the process, it just bludgeons into you with this psychic energy. Ugh. And just still lying here in this cave like a like a wounded animal is this huge mass of flesh. No more heads, no more limbs, just flesh. And um, Madeline runs to it and you can't hear her because you still have these earplugs in, but she's just weeping, holding on to it. Whoa. You okay? Um, Hello? I, I, so I, I take a plug hands. out. I want to take a plug out. You take a plug out, and um, this creature's song has stopped. It no longer has a mouth to sing. Oh, guys, we don't oh. need to have the things anymore. I'm pointing my ears, jumping up and down. What? What the fuck are you saying? Oh, what? Oh, you what? say something? Oh, you say something? Uh, I'm in the takeout. I start, start pulling the hair around my, my ears, ears, going. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, I take him out. Huh? You say something? Yeah, you don't need the plugs anymore, man. It's, it's no, good. I don't need we're, the we're I don't need the hugs anymore. Okay. Yeah, you're not gonna you, get um, any hugs for your kids no more. You hear Madeline? I don't need that love is, no more. You hear Madeline, and she is just bawling. She's saying, "Please, please, why, why did this happen? You please, you." Don't kill him. Madeline's just fucking falling. She's trying so hard. She's dribbling a She's dribbling a ball up and down. She's got one Bro. of the heads that fell off. She's dribbling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. LeBron. LeBron. LeBron James. LeBron, LeBron James. Hey, ball. You know how to, you know how to deal with those balls. Ball. Go ahead. Go ahead. They call me Ball Venus, and I do a layup on a basketball hoop that just appears out of nowhere. <laughs> this is all in his twisted imagination. Yeah, and we're and and we're back. Uh, oh, sh uh, um, are you mad at us? No, I don't. Hey, why are you mad? Why? Are you mad at me, baby? <laughs> as the horse. As the horse. <laughs> Little darling, why are you mad at me? Oh, baby. Don't be so That's the giant the, hairless horse. The, the, the war you, horse is saying that. You come up behind like, her and say that. <laughs> with your Mr. Red horse lips. <laughs> you, you see a woman crying in front of a giant white monster. What do you do? She, um, she, she says, it's, it's not fair. It's not right. He just I don't know what to do. Hmm. I, I just start paternally um patting her head. And I just give a kind of look to everyone else and just kind of just like do a like come here motion. And we, we all come over and start patting her on start the head. Patting her head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Me with my hey, horse hey. selves just stomping on her head. <laughs> <laughs> she, looks, she, she looks kind of she kind of thankful when you do that, Eugene, and then everyone else comes over and does it, and she makes a face. She's like, this is this is getting weird. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, but I'm I, 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 yeah, I'm sorry about that one. I should have thought of that. Um, uh, hey, uh, uh, I mean, is he dead? No, right? Not, it's not, not dead. It's still pulsating and moving. In fact, um. I we, we can go back to initiative if we, you want, I, but we don't have to. Should, I, we, uh, should I, we put it out of its misery? I'm a man now again, her a baboon. I'm no yes. man. 
Um, I, do you, do you, I mean, realistically, what do you want us to do? Mads. All right. All right. We don't have to kill him, right? He's fine like this. Or, I know. I, I we gotta, right. why don't we at least, why don't we probably. take the book first and then see what happens, huh? What? Yeah, do we I still have your... we should try. And she tries to raise herself up from this mass, but she cannot. You can see that both of her arms are getting sucked into this flesh. Oh, and she tries to pull back, but she's, fuck, what? Ryan, no! No, wait! You don't have, you don't have to do this! Ah! But she's getting, um, continuing to get sucked in. Divine smite! Divine smite! All right, that's a 18. Whoa, 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 Paul, take it out for dinner first. Come on. Yeah, come on. I'm gonna finish this. I'm so sick and tired. Made me laugh for so long. 18 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> yeah, definitely the monster that did that. The monster that. did that for sure, bro. Yeah, the monster I, did that. Yeah, it was the monster. It totally the monster. I'm just gonna think it's a monster. <laughs> Uh, for sure, man. Yeah, eight, 18 definitely okay. hits. 32. Okay, 32. Yeah. I think all of you, all of you gather around um, as Madeline is being sucked into this creature, and Paul, with a single wicked strike, you raise your golden blade to the sky and slash down and plunge into this creature. I say, You got the touch! You got the power! <laughs> And it all, it all goes yeah! 80s filter. Uh-huh. And it... <laughs> we have defeated Unicron. <laughs> Paul's just really, like, really, really buff, and he has, like, pixie. The, the, t- the touch plays very emotionally <laughs> as you plunge the sword into the creature, and it erupts in a golden light. Fine. And the last fleshy bits of this monster are burned away into nothingness, and Madeline falls to the ground, and she just sort of looks She has no me. hands. <laughs> No, she has hands. <laughs> um, and she just sort of looks on. And lying there is the Book of Mind. The Book of Mormon. The Book of Mormon. I, I, sit, I sit on it and then stand up and it disappears. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, no. You, you suck the book up into your bowels. Thunk. thunk. All right, let's go. I got it. Yeah. It feels is a little... Is there anything else you want to do in the scene before we go back up? Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I go over to Madeline. Uh, hey, hey, hey! Look, look, man. Um, you got a horse in your house now, and your dad's in jail, and you're love your life. I assume, right? Yeah, safe, safe to assume. Um, yeah. I mean, things aren't great. Yeah, it turned but, into a big flesh monster, um, then died in front of you. Um, yeah. Well, we kind of have a habit of of bringing people back to our to our big wizard city, so that's a, that's an open offer. If you're uh, no, no, that's no. thank you, spoons, but that's okay. I um, I think what I need to do now is figure out who I am, and maybe I'm not really Madeline Glass, and maybe I'll never yeah. find out who I was as Abby. But this is an opportunity for me to be someone new. I think you know, I'm make sure a new there, start. There are probably other people who've had. Been hit by horses. Their mom been hit by horses, and they died. It's probably a few. You can find those. I think, yeah, yeah. It's like so that, that last, group? That last no, part isn't things. that great. That last part ain't that great. But I, we, I, I he's working her, on uh, it. A, a, a Werther's original and uh, uh, thanks, Gene. Love Werther's. Yeah, hell yeah. Uh, you know, pick up a banana once in a while. Uh, you know, give us a ring. Uh, you know, I show off the Super Bowl ring. You know what's going on. You know what's shaking. Uh, let's head it back up. Uh, boys let's head it back up to strength. the town. <laughs> Come on. Uh, Eugene um, kind of grunts as he climbs hand over hand o- up the rope. Yeah, you all... Uh, it takes you another hour to get climb up through this tunnel. You see that all of the um, all of this like weird kudzu is burned to ash. And you climb back up the rope. And you are met by this cacophonous noise ringing throughout Howl. Uh, it is crying. The entire town is crying, and um, the town master sees you all coming up, and he says, "Oh, ha. hey guys, don't don't worry about the noise. It's just you know, everyone just remembered." So is is every wait is everyone back or no? Everyone just remembered everyone that died. Yeah, they're they're dead, man. Oh, they, what? Yeah. What did you think they would come back? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, th- I thought this whole thing was to save the. I mean, selfishly, was to save the fourth 
the monkey. Oh. Well, it will save the rest of the town, the people that aren't dead yet, buddy. You know? Well, this yeah. well, this Kinda, just sucks. People don't just come no, back, man. Spence, you, you saved us. You saved our town. That's important. That, that was good, you know? But we have to yeah. mourn those who we lost. Yeah. Yes, spoons. People die, man. It's just how it works. People die every day. I honestly don't understand the crying, but I don't know why anyone even cares. Okay, okay Paul. Don't yeah, like, but guys. like, but like, I, well, like, we're, we're magic. I'm not gonna die. Like, I got. Are I got you magic. sure about you know, that? I'm gonna you, stab you, you, spoons in the heart. I'm captain of the high school <laughs> football team, so don't a high rules. I'll never die. No, no, Look it's like, like, well, you guys probably won't die. Ani and I almost definitely won't die because we got like magic and stuff. Yeah, well, I did. Ani literally once. died, <laughs> but I didn't. So, you know. Yeah, see, he didn't. He didn't die. So it's like we're we're here. We're we're probably not gonna die. I, probably. Eugene thinks Ani is a ghost. This is his whole time. He's, <laughs> he's a ghost. Well, uh, um, uh, Beauregard comes up and he says, "Hey guys, you uh, seem to do a good job down there. You uh, want to get a night's rest now?" Uh, uh, should we? Maybe we should just like get out of here. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I, we're still waiting on that replacement magic carpet to come in. So. Oh we man, can't, we, we can't fly out of here with Wormula. <laughs> yeah, we can't get to <laughs> get to fly out of here with Wormula. <laughs> I think Wormula is probably halfway across the continent by now. God damn it! Fuck Wormula. You know what? Fucking I'm I'm hell. happy for him. And um, you actually. Look around, and you've been you've been living in this fantasy world for a while. You're starting to gather how to like tell the time by the you know position of the sun. My sundial stars. watch. Well, no, because they don't have watches in this twisted world. It's a it's a it's sundial watch. World. It's a tiny um, little sundial. And you you can tell that it's it's past midnight. The seventh day has come, and the <gasps> creature is dead. You have saved the town. Yahoo! Um, we did it. We we did oh, it, everybody. No, or you go into the tavern and you see Bertha standing behind the counter. She has tears in her eyes, but she sort of weakly smiles at you and just kind of directs you up the stairs. Does this mean we can stay for free tonight? <laughs> sure, sure, Paul. Sure. I don't think we've she been kind paying of to begin that. with. She, uh... But, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, you, you, you paid the first night. Now, I, you know, sometimes humor is good, you know, and lifts your spirits a little bit. Yeah, yeah, okay. Sorry, sorry about that. Man, I miss my husband and our baby. Oh, I suck. <laughs> oh, what, man. your baby? Uh, I'm going to bed. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> your baby? You, uh, the stairs. You, you never talked to us about our past, even though, uh, even though everyone made it sound like there would be really dramatic stuff to, that would be revealed if you talked to characters about their past, even though that was implied you never did it. But yeah, we had. Well, a you probably wouldn't have remembered it, would you? So I'm just like, I'm just trying to call you on your bullshit right now. So no, no, it's like it's like uh, we we left we left the Maldovian military because we weren't allowed to have kids, and you know we uh, had a, a kid. Hey, I'm re re okay. I'm just gonna stop you right there. I'm kind of sleepy, and um, I just want to go to bed. So thank we you. We killed a detective in Menzo Baranzan. We've all done it. All right. Good night. We made Star Wars. All right. See ya. <laughs> wow, really? That's awesome. yeah. I uh, I saw I saw a moving scroll of that the other day. It was great. Yeah, that was us. Yeah, I was actually wow. the guy in it. All right, I wasn't there all for right. that. That's all right, good night. I don't really remember yeah. when that hey, uh, was. Uh, when we're back upstairs, uh, hey, hey Paul, can you help me with something real quick? I just want to. Yeah, it's it's you, kind of for both of us. What, what you uh, I bring you to the, I bring you to the bathroom. I close the big wooden door. I go, okay, just just like get your sword ready in case this isn't what we want it to be. All right, okay. just like just like get it get it ready to, to skewer, you know. But like, Slides but out no, of my ass. no, okay, yeah. no, no, don't skewer <laughs> if it is the right thing, but do skewer if it's not. Okay. Okay. Are you bagging um, a beast? Yeah, I pull out the bag of beasts and. Oh, tung tung tung. It's an 11! It's a fucking 11! Yes! Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Send a fuck. fucking oh. screenshot! I will! Yes. I will! Yes. I have to use a special, yes. special, I have to use Woo. a special website because it, the, the 11 isn't on D&D Beyond. Look at this! <laughs> Look at this shit! Look at this shit, you motherfucker! Woo. It's a fucking 11! Oh. Yes! 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 Oh, yes. yes. Come to me, baby! Oh, my we boy is him. home! We got him! We got him! You, you oh opened god. the brown sack of the bag of beasts and with sort of a wet... <sighs> The tiny dying man <laughs> slides out and hits the bathroom floor. Ew, he's like a newborn deer. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> oh, <laughs> he goes, man. Whoa, I've seen so many terrifying <laughs> things you wouldn't believe. It's okay. Oh. It's okay. You got to tell us what's in there at some point. I saw Please. the world beyond the stars. Oh, it's <laughs> horrible. My mind <laughs> has shattered. Oh. oh, don't worry. Here, you're going to be nice and comfy. Come back in. Come on. Come on. Thunk. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> he says, I am questioning my own reality. We're living in a dream. As you shove him up your ass. <laughs> it was all a dream. Oh, Paul, I'm, I'm, I have, I'm glad Thank that's you. that part. Thank you, Spoons, yeah. for making hey. such a good role. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can't, I... And oh. then you go to bed. Good night, Paul. The end. Good night, tiny dying man. And the sun comes back up. And it's a new day in Howl. If you uh, look out the window um, as you get up and, you know, look out and see the new day, the uh. sun streaming into the streets, you see children playing and you see people outside. It's like the town is beginning to heal. And off in the distance, at the coast of the town where this big frozen ocean is, you see this huge icebreaker ship has landed um, and people are loading boxes up onto it. You see the Xanathar there. And you also see carrying boxes. Lumpy, uh, Grumpy, and Judd. Ah, oh. Lumpy, Grumpy, and Judd. Look who it is. I miss Dumpy. Hello, Lumpy, Grumpy, and Judd. Well, you're not there. Are you, are you calling to him from the window? <laughs> yeah, from the window. From the I'm window. just saying oh, it to myself okay. and waving at them. <laughs> Hello, Lumpy, Grumpy, and Judd. Hello. I'll, uh, I'll thaumaturgy uh, Paul's voice so he can, he can yell to them. It'd probably be easier to walk over there. Fine. Yeah. yeah, let's we take a stroll. Um You all take a stroll over there. Um I do a sexy on the on shuffle. the way, uh the town master uh bumps into you and he says, uh Hey guys, uh the the deputy is still recovering after he got like two of his limbs bitten off. But uh fun fact, the reason we have a deputy and not a sheriff is because the sheriff got eaten. I had forgotten about that. Uh but uh don't worry, I explained to him the whole thing about why the doctor is in jail. We're not going to be seeing him anytime soon. But uh, the deputy wanted me to go get this for you. And um, he hands you the torn pages from the Book of Mind. Uh, who is the sheriff? Uh, sheriff Celsius. Ah. Uh, oh. There we go. Um, yeah, okay, I guess we sho shove the pages up Paul's ass, too. <laughs> Just to, sure. to join the, yeah. to join its Brilliant. friends. Come on now. I bend over. Paul, you've got Come a uh, Paul. Paul, you've got a, You got a book binding factory up in there, right? You got a printing press. Up oh up there. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh right, good, good, yeah, good. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh oh yeah 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 yeah. Well, thanks for saving our town, guys. Yeah, it's been fun having you here. Oh uh, yeah 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 yeah. Uh, do do you want like a? Like a number or something? I mean, I we we we've, we've hung out with you enough. <laughs> Hang yeah. me? No, thank you. What the fuck? <laughs> he, he turns around and walks away, shaking his head. Oh, okay. I'm not into uh, that. Yeah, so we're going up to 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 Crumpy Grumpy and Jlud. <laughs> yeah, you guys walk up to uh to uh even Timpy Grumpy, Lumpy Timpy. Grumpy and Judd and uh. Uh, Lumpy turns around and he says, Oh, hey, guys! Uh, you know, thanks for, uh, bringing us back our, our memories of our, our dead brother. I oh. mean that genuinely. That might have sounded sarcastic. That sounded like a yeah, dick, that man. Sounded like that sounded like an, an attack. attack. No, no that, was, that, was ge that was genuine. I you know? didn't do it's, fucking it's one, shit. It's one thing to, you know, have a, a family member stolen from you, but to forget everything about them, that... That's the most horrifying thing that could possibly happen. I'm, I'm glad that at least we can remember. It's him just now. like that one. Uh, uh, that do you want to watch the movie, uh, The Mask? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love that movie. <laughs> this guy gets me. See, Ani, that's why we were such good friends. Yeah, absolutely. This guy gets me. So, uh, what was your, uh, what was your, what was your favorite memory with, uh, with your brother whose name I forgot? <laughs> uh, uh, Crumpy. Dumpy. <laughs> My favorite <laughs> dumpy memory is all, probably all those dumps he used to take. It was so funny. <laughs> like when he took a big dump in the head honcho's garden or when he took a big dump on Ani's head. God, that was funny. Or who was that like a... 
who is that like pathetic chimpanzee <laughs> that we used to see like hanging around the really scrawny pathetic chimpanzee? We used to he used to take a big dump in his backpack at gym school every day. It was so funny, dude. Dude, no, cut it out. I yeah, I don't know. That that's weird. Like. I, yeah, that's. that's I mean, just, that's I, I crazy. only know a really because I, I, I remember really, I remember that cool... that that, that doing too. Like I remember doing that too. That to like some weirdo. I, yeah, I, I, I only know my, a big a really Paul shoulder like a tall muscular talented chimpanzee. That's the only one I know. You know. Yeah, that, that's the that's the only chimp that I really uh, I, like, maybe, a big, like a big like a chimpanzee. You know, on, on, you know, on second thought, maybe it's a good thing that Dumpy's dead. Now that I'm thinking about it, <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he took dumps on a lot of people. It was, it was yeah, fucked up. like. That's worth being it was, executed. It was, kind, it was kind of like psychotic, really. <laughs> he was fucked. He was twisted. <laughs> we should have we, really. we should have executed him on the spot, really. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Whenever, like whenever publicly, he came to play, in front of everybody. Grump, yeah. Uh, I agree. Grumpy says. Uh, Grumpy says. Who oh, seven have a salmon to rip her. <laughs> and uh, Judd pats him on the head and says, "That's my boy." You know, whenever whenever Dumpy came to, to poker nights at the uh, at the jungle bar, he would always play really badly and like and and get all his money taken away in like the first twenty minutes. And then he would go, "That's a dump," and then he would take a shit on the table. It was really it was like it was really inconsiderate. Dumpy memory, <laughs> yeah. probably every single one. If I'm going to be honest, <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> uh, this uh, you you a, a large shadow casts over you and you turn. Oh hi, Xanathar. See, yeah, the Xanathar, and he says, "Hey." You saved the city, thank you. Uh, as promised, it's the seventh day. We've loaded up the shipment, although it was difficult with like a solid half of my guys dead. Um, but yeah, I, I keep my word. You can take your monkey friends anywhere you want. And Lumpy says, boy, am I happy to get out of here. Boy, how did change, but... We made you an offer you would not refuse. <laughs> Yeah, shut up, Spoons. <laughs> Fuck you. I'll fucking kill you. I, I blink Spoons in the eye. <laughs> ah, fuck. I, 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 I go back to do d- double boink in his, into Ani's eyes. <laughs> Peace sign boink. Uh, the Xanathar says, Oh, by the way, I almost forgot. Something arrived in town for you this morning. And what? Sliding out of one of these folds on his weird spherical body <laughs> is a magic carpet. I go carpy and put on my hands. I say carpy <laughs> Uh I say, oh, I cut this carp a while ago. <laughs> Great jokes, guys. Let's get on the carpet. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get out of here. Xanathar, uh, Draconia, if you ever need us, uh, give us a ring. Hold a Super Bowl ring. <laughs> um, for sure, for sure. I, you know, I don't hang out with I get it, a more ring. legitimate <laughs> organizations out there too often. Hey, but, uh, I'm a bad maybe. dude. I'm a bad... This guy yeah, loves to kill. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! I mean, yeah, I mean, he is morally a very bad person. Yeah, I paint houses, it. if you will. Yeah, I'm kind of an Irishman. I, I you know, you what, I've been called a good uh, fella before. <laughs> called a good fella. I, 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 I'll tell you what, guys. Uh, he he sort of squeezes his body, like compacts it a little bit, and he goes, Ugh! and uh, sliding out another one of these folds is a little, just a little sort of like a little like brown flesh orb. And uh, he, like, floats it over to you, and he says, If you ever find yourself in, like, underworld trouble where, you know, you think my name might carry some weight, just show him this. Oh, uh, keep yeah. this as a symbol of your cache. Of course. I put it in the big chest. My big 25-pound chest. Thank you, Mr. Right, Xanathar. I'll see you guys. And uh, around that time, sauntering on up is Beauregard Venus, and he says, well, boys, we going back to Draconia to find more of your friends? Uh, uh Beauregard, come aboard. I put my arm out. You know, Spoods, uh, I'm really glad you were uh, willing to let bygones be bygones. I promise I would never do anything dirty or underhanded to you again. He holds his uh-huh. hand out. I pull him up and I, th- I throw him. I sort of like toss him behind me, like with the energy. Duck out of the way and yeah. then shove the bag of beasts into his pants and open it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, D10. Uh, this is going to be an, a, a nine. Your classic. What if it was Dracula? It'd be hilarious. It's a nine. <laughs> what is it? Uh, let's find out what a nine is really quick. Oh, a nine is three flying rabbits. Uh, <laughs> yes, in his pants. Yes. 
you you notice his, his pants sort of balloon outward with the shape of three flying rabbits, and they start to carry him up in the air. And he's like, "Well, thanks, spoons. This is pretty cool." <laughs> You're gonna be uh, in style, buddy. No problem. Uh, no problem, Bo. Uh, all right, are we are we done, guys? Are we are we good? Lumpy, all Dumpy, right. and Judd. Uh, nope, Hop Dumpy's on. dead. Lumpy, Grumpy, <laughs> and Judd hop on, and Lumpy says, "Boy, I sure am happy to see Draconi. It sounds so great by how you described it." Uh, and Grumpy says, "Have some, never have a seven of And Judd says, "I miss my son." And oh. uh, Beauregard Venus shakes the rabbits out of his pants legs and falls back down the carpet and says, "All right, boys, I'm raring to go." Uh, Paul, you driving? Yep. Puts on a big ten gallon hat. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget the don't forget the carpet nuts. Yep. I put on I put on a big old thing of carpet nuts. Don't forget Two the tank top. Giant and dangling big cross. balls. Yep. <laughs> I put on a uh, I put a, a little hula girl on the on the top of it. <laughs> just <laughs> level with all of us. Tape in. Yep. I pull a <laughs> the awesome I pull a big gulp out of my ass. Yep. <laughs> Time to get uh, going. I, yep. I slapped aside a couple times. <laughs> yeah, all of you are extremely crowded onto the top of this carpet, <laughs> but it does take off and a little slower than usual, but not by too much, flies off into the air. And as you fly over, you see the town master waving after you and or not waving after you, but you see the town master waving at you and the Xanathar, and you see um uh, sheriff, uh, or not sheriff? You see, Deputy Fahrenheit, who is sort of prophet. Is he, is he not the sheriff, sheriff now? <laughs> maybe, maybe <laughs> former deputy turned sheriff Fahrenheit, and he sort of waves you off, and yeah, you fly off into the distance back towards Draconia. Is now a good time to mention? I think I have a brother. <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 he looks in the camera, swings. So he's used my wild shape and turned into a war horse and say. Or horse and give a hoofs up to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Oh, horse, please. 